Alright, hello everyone, welcome to Absolute Chill Plays Games, lol. <laughs> what an intro. How's it going everyone? Hope everyone's doing great. Today, we're gonna learn how to rob a bank. No, I'm just kidding, we're gonna rob a train. That's the real goal. Today, we're gonna just walk through cactus like it was nothing, lovely. Um, so... Oh. I've geared my, I've designed my character uh, based on a top hat clan, and um, the top hats are very notorious people. As you can see by my honor, they're very, very notorious. So first things first, we're gonna, I'm gonna lay these out in steps so you guys can do it. It's easy, super simple, top, top hat clan way. All right, all right, let's do this. So. Stage one, get to a station. I'll yep. see you then. Oh, I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Whoa, no. well, what up, what feller? How about you give me money, son? Damn you. Take it then. Thanks. No witnesses. Now, you're dead. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, here we are at a, a, a station in Valentine. All right, let's get to step three. After shooting some people in overshoot, look for step two. Um, you don't have to uh, obviously follow step two, but you can, just for the fun of it. Um, this is for the low honor folks. So if you're a low honor guy, um, this, this may be for you. This is an optimum way to rob a not train again, sir. what up my guy all right step three take a train to rakes all right peeps pleasant travels we'll see you there all right so here we are arriving at Riggs station you can see train coming in excuse i'm just about to burp oh i'm trying to push it down here we are at the Riggs station now step four is what you do. Your horse is gonna be right outside here. My horse is quite dirty. So, get the guns you need. I'm just gonna quick take a nice uh, repeater. That's all I need. Great, lovely. All right, and now, tell your horse to kinda just stay there. Stay, girl. Just kinda spam the stay button. So now the horse is gonna stay here for step four. Now step five, if you are patient enough to wait for the train to go, do so. I'm impatient for the video, uh, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna quickly, hello, is he gonna go? Just enter the train. Hey, this area is off limits to passengers. Just kick this guy out, who needs him? All right, and then we go. Please God, no! Now this is the optimum way, I'll tell you what to do now. Step five, steal the train. We're getting shot at. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It might get a couple shots in us, but that's okay. Quite a lot of shots in us. That's okay. If you feel like you need to you get shot too much, then just dismount from the train, press triangle, eat something, get back on here. But goal is to get on top of this bridge. Because if you get on top of this bridge, the passengers won't be able to leave. You can pick off these guards easily, and the police won't be able to get you. Now you can just break right up here. Nicely done. Now, since your horse is not falling, you're doing good. Now, basically, the train is yours. Do what you wish. What I wish to do is just kind of kill them all in a shootout. Terrible. There you go. Nice little, little splatter. I ain't gonna miss. Well, good luck. I ain't gonna miss. Oh, jeez. There you go. And then now, in the top hat, baby, clear the last guy. Man's down. Boom. Nicely done. Woo! And now the train is yours. Do as you wish. Um, I as. I incidentally don't have dynamites, but if you have dynamites, place them on, move on to the next cart, 
You can rob these guys, do what you wish. Place one on here, move on. And then, you rob from this safe, and go back, rob from that safe. Simple, easy, and there you and you guaranteed get three safes and a guaranteed coin purse in this chest. Of course, you can rob these as you go. You don't have to. But what you can do is rob these people. And the trick is, once you rob them, you shoot them, and then you loot them. That way you can get twice the amount of money. You dare for stupid. Hand it over now! take it and leave! Now what you do is up to you. You don't have to shoot him. That's a twice the dishonor you can get. Now code of top hat clan. You don't shoot the top hats. You don't shoot the top hats and you don't shoot the ladies with the feather hats. They're gen gentlemen and gentle ladies. But anyone else, you're free to shoot and rob. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Now here's a little secret, right? If they fall on the ground, you, you, the, your character will do the whole animation of robbing them, like go through their pockets and stuff, but you can kind of cut that out, right? I'll show you how to do it. So, let's just say I robbed this guy. I'm like, yo, give me your money. And I shoot him, force him into the chair or into this little cubicle, and then rob it, it cuts out the animation, and now you just kind of you doing it faster. Boom. You can do it very efficiently, I'm just doing it very inefficiently. Alright, I'll see you, I'll show you what to do next. Alright everyone, so I've basically made it to the part where I've, I've killed and robbed everyone and this is a very efficient way now you go to the last cart blow the safe up do your thing get the money now you got to be a little careful here because these there's cops all out here so you can you can guarantee harper war bait can of salmon over here and there's also a guarantee if you open this you can get a jewelry box uh milk tonic health care health cure and Guarma Rum, which they're always guaranteed. So make sure you ro rob this wardrobe. And then here, in the drawers, you can get nice uh, maximum of $20, $25 worth of cash. And if you search more drawers, you can get cocaine gum or cigars. Always guaranteed to search these last cars. These items will always be here. Unless you kind of get onto a, a walking train, they'll most likely be there. Now, step six or seven, whichever one it is now. Kill the cops. Use your use your uh, dead eye. If you can, if you're a good shooter, then you don't have to use your dead eye. Um, but it gives you all the bad armor you can get. Right, that's the first wave. You've got it. What I like to do is kind of climb up on here, and this kind of provides me a little bit of coverage. So kind of hide here and they usually come from over there because that's the only way they can come from there see there's a guy coming in they most likely come on the tracks and try to come shoot at us you can since this river is kind of between two um let's see it's between two things it's between the stra uh, strawberry or it's between west elizabeth and the new hanover you can decide which uh, ba county or you want to kind of rack up bounty on I never go to strawberry so I kind of racked it up there but since I'm just doing my cheesy top head clan playthrough I just kind of racked it up here too and you can always keep a clean zone like I have which is Lemoyne where I have uh, Saint Denis and uh, Rhodes kind of just are safe zones so I can kind of relax enjoy myself um, you know, there's a, there's a blackjack table here, and there's a blackjack table, poker table here, so you can kind of enjoy yourself, play some games. Um, of course, this will give you a lot of money. And I'm not I'm not just joking. If you look at my money right there, I have $18,000. So, be patient. And make sure to get everything. Now, you're wondering how you're going to get rid of the 
wanted level, right? Just kill all the cops. Usually there'll be three waves, sometimes there'll be two if you get lucky, but if you do get lucky and there's two waves, you're lucked out because that's the last amount of cops you have to kill um, and less of the honor you're gonna lose. But if you don't care about the honor, then do as you please. There we go. There's one more somewhere there. I think we're on the third wave right now. Um, we're getting there. And this training is yours. You can do whatever you like. Um, as soon as you start moving it though, the cops will be after you. So don't move it too far. Um, it is not your train. It's of course the government's train and they'll track you. Um, part of the top head clan is also to annihilate the horses. But I'm not going to do that since you're the gentle folk of y YouTube and I, you don't want to see that. But that is how I do it and that is how the top heads do it. Now, this is some... There's one kind of remaining cop kind of just back there, so I'm gonna kind of chase him out, see where he is, and, and uh, there he is. There you go. And now you lost your uh, wanted level. Now we may say wanted, but you're done. Just walk away, call your horse, do what you like, you're done. And there you go, the wanted level will go away, the cops will stop coming, and you can even rob the co corpses of the uh, cops, and you're done. You should get around here, call your horse. Where's Daisy 3? Daisy 1 and Daisy 2 haven't seen best days. They fell off this bridge, doing trial and error. So, that's why I say keep your horse on, s make, your sure, uh, make sure to tell your horse to stay, because if, if it follows you on the tracks, and uh, kind of gets on the railing beside the train it could fall off and you can kill the horse um, but yeah and that's this is the easiest way to uh, kind of rack up low honor and fully efficiently rob a train trust me you can get a lot of money from this and how about this I can do step 8 let's go sell our, our, our all the stuff we got from the train to um, a, a, a fence. So I'll see you guys at the fence. Alright, so since we're already on our way to the fence, let's do a little chat. Let's do a little, let's relate. Um, I suggest if you're, if you're one of those people who, you know, likes to play for high honor, I suggest this might not be the greatest method for you. Um, and I, I think this would be the best way to just get the challenges done. So there is a challenge, and if I pull it up, that's my satchel. Don't mind this. It should be here. In the challenges, you have, um, I think it's a weapons expert or a sharpshooter. But one of one of these requires you to um, maybe even the bandit challenge that I don't have. Maybe I've just completed it. I'm not quite sure. But one of the challenges requires you to rob three trains and then rob five trains. If you like, uh, if you like, that's a tough challenge. Just do do the method I've told you to. Best way to do it, honestly. Um, and I, I play this game kind of strategically. I don't want to just gain up a wanted level everywhere. So I paid off. Um, I paid off uh, New Hanover, my bounty for New Hanover, and then I instantly got it back because I just had a shootout in Valentine. So, if you play reckless like me, you don't you don't have to, uh, you don't have to kind of. All I'm trying to say is just play strategically. <laughs> oh man! You just, if you're trying to gain up money like me, which honestly is gonna, isn't going to be very helpful, just because how the game ends up ending. Um, if you are prone to spoilers, let me just we're almost there. We're almost there. We're not gonna worry about it. Um, then you don't worry about the money. Just gain like a couple three, three to five thousand. You're fine. You can buy almost every outfit in the game that way. I just like to gain up money because I'm doing nothing, and I just like to screw around. Um, let's let's change our clothes. Let's change our clothes. Um, should we do two? Hmm. Blue. Uh, no, let's do purple. So my outfit three is purple. Nice little purple, you know, cowboy action, top hat clan situation. Let's look classy. And here we are. What up, my guy? What is she, Seamus? Seamus? 
Seamus. What's You're up, back. my dude? Ah, right, yeah. Take a look. Okay, uh, let's see. Look at look at how much stuff you can get. So you can sell all of it, or you can do what I do is save some of for, these myself. You save for challenges because it can be used for crafting, and you you probably will need to end up using this up off the street, no doubt. some of these for crafting. These are hard to come by, so if you get a silver chain, save that crap. Okay. Be an heirloom, huh? Honestly, it's just. So that's fifty dollars worth right there. That's eighteen. Hmm. That's so where crafting. Did you get this, I wonder. Keep one of each if you need for crafting. Of course, earrings will be two, and you can just press oh, whole triangle yes. to sell all of these. People lose these all the time. There you go. And if you feel like you have extra cards, and you can sell them too here. Uh, Pick sometimes this up off the street, no doubt. Sometimes they'll give it to you, like some of the. People, when you rob, they'll give it to you. Very nice. And you can even save get golden nuggets, bit. which I like to save just cause, just cause. And that's Catherine's brooch. Which, uh, if you haven't played the campaign, I won't spoil too much. But you get it off once you end up say like just ditching a character. <laughs> but there you go. I just made a thousand dollars just of that. Well, eight hundred or something. So there you go. And of course, you can this way you can rack up on moonshine, a lot of cool stuff. So there you have it, everyone. Okay. Like how this just between okay. us now, girl. Yeah. Of course, just decide to poop. And which kind of brings me to the right segment of ending this video. Hope you, if this has helped you, hit the like button. Of course, uh, leave a comment down below if you want me to do more of these. I have so many more. I'm a strategic engineering guy, so I like to do things efficiently. And you know, just I got a lot of these in, in works. So if you want me to do more of those, hit that like button, drop a comment below, see what you let me know what you want me to do next. Um, but of course, uh, and if you really like to follow me, hit that subscribe button. You don't have to, it's free, it's everything's free on YouTube. Um, but think about hitting that subscribe button, it comes in handy for me. I like to see who likes my videos, who don't, and who like to follow me. That's all. Anywho, um, that, that, this is, <laughs> this is such a reckless video, isn't it? Oh, man. And the crappy outro, too. Anywho, I'll see you cowboys next time. Easy now. Peace. <laughs> and this is Absolute Chill. Bye-bye.